everybody, it's Simon at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got these really big um, gift bags to show you, but before I get into that, I just wanted to say um, something about the rings I wear. I've received so many messages, um, sorry, I'm just moving on my seat there, um, loads of messages and people saying, oh, show us them in more detail. Um, we love your rings you wear. Your rings are really big um, and <laughs> My mum laughs actually because this has kind of been a statement thing for me for years. Um, my closest friends and I had um, 17 long years working in retail fashion and um, I've just accumulated a lot of jewellery and I used to make my own jewellery so I used to make quite big rings as well and a lot of those, pretty much all of them, are up in the loft in my mum and dad's house and I do keep thinking I need to go up there but I always forget so um, next time I'm back I'll try and uh, someone remind me when I say I'm next going back home remind me to go up in the loft and have a look for my jewellery um, but yeah so this is just a particular favourite this one here as you can see yeah the bigger the better um, I've got some really wacky ones and I just love them I just think it's really fun so this um, my right hand has always got some kind of funky jewellery on it so there you go um, but yeah I will uh, show some of the other rings off when I do get them, hopefully. Okay, so back to the project. I have these big gift bags. Now I have made some other big gift bags before and I'll put a little link up here somewhere. I just tried to make, if I'm gonna do another big gift bag, I'll make it slightly different, just so that they're all slightly different dimensions. So I can have a nice kind of variety um, in the playlist. So this one here measures three by nine, no, nine, 10, 11, 12, yeah, three by 12. Um, I've done another one which is four by eight um, and I've got another one again but I can't remember the size for that one. Um, so this is using three pieces of 12 by 12 paper. I have used for this one Beyond the Shore by Trimcraft. This one is Tropicana by Simply Creative. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, that's first edition. They're all trim craft, but this is first edition Beyond the Shore. This is Tropicana Simply Creative, and I'm going to be using Dove Craft um, Nature's Grace. Um, they've got like a ladies' kind of briefcase style to them, so you undo the bow and they open, and they all fold flat as well. Now, this is optional, and I'll talk you through that a bit, but you just push in the sides, and the whole thing's fold flat. Now, I really like fold flat gift bags because a lot of the things I make. Obviously, I live in China, so I make them and then I bring them back to the UK and I prepare all my birthday presents or other gifts for that next part of the year for family and friends. Um, so mine do all get used. Um, I'm just very organised. So you can see now how great they are when they fold flat and I absolutely adore these. I think they're lovely. So you are going to need, let's just pop that to one side. Also, another thing, I've had quite a few people messaging me asking what colour paper I use and I have this here. Um, and it's the solid cardstock um, assorted colossal colours by Do Crafts Paper Mania. You get 75 sheets, 216 GSM. It's perfect for um, gift boxes, gift bags, any 3D craft, and also for normal, you know, greeting cards, card craft for matting and layering and things like that. Um, it's 19.99, and I get it from Hobby Craft. Um, but again, I'll look for some other links, see if there's any other suppliers um, that sell it as well. But it's a really good one, especially if you're starting off, especially if you don't have a lot of room in your craft room, because I keep it in this kind of thing. You, it's got a perforated edge, you pull this all down, and then you can literally flick through. There's no same colour, there's only one of each colour, but they do a whole rainbow. So there's about 10 in yellow, 10 greens, and, and so on and so forth. So yeah, it's a really, really good one, I love this. And they also do it in 8x8 and 6x6. Okay, so let's just bring this over. So this is the ones I'm going to use today. So this is using the, um, like I said, the Dovecraft Nature's Grace. Um, and I just, yeah, I love this print. I thought it would look really nice for a bag. So three pieces of 12 by 12. Two of the pieces need to be your pattern paper, so your actual main, your front and your back of your gift bag. And then the side pieces here, I've just picked out a colour that matched well with this. And these are going to be the sides and the handle and the closure that flaps over the top. So first of all, with your 12 by 12 pieces. Now, if it's directional paper, you want to turn it so that the, the top, this is where, um, this is this piece here. This is where my little flap's gonna come over with the ribbon. So this is the top of my gift bag. This is the bottom. So if it's directional paper, make sure your print is going off in this direction here. And you just wanna score at three inches. 
Okay, so I've got that one there, and I'll just grab this one again, three inches. Okay, then with your other piece of 12 by 12, so I've got two side panels, my lid, and my handle, and this all comes to 12 inches. So I've done it deliberately so that you are getting every single piece of that 12 inch piece of cardstock okay so you need two pieces from that that measure four by twelve one piece that measures three by twelve and then you will have a one inch piece left and that's your handle that's your strip so one by twelve okay with the two pieces of four by twelve along the four inch side you want to score at half an inch and at three and a half inches then rotate it and you want to score at three. Now if you want it to fold flat, you want to also score at four and a half. If you just want to keep it upright in its solid form, don't worry about that score line. Then rotate it back along the four inch side and again if you don't want it to lie flat you don't need to do any of this. But if you do, you want to score at two inches all the way down to that four and a half inch score line that we just scored there. Okay. Then with your three by 12 piece, you just want to score along the shortest side, the three inch side at one inch all the way down, okay? Then get rid of your scoreboard. Again, if you are wanting yours to fold flat, then you just want to grab your ruler and there's that two inch score line that we scored all the way down to that four and a half inch score line here. From that, we're now going to just score two score lines from there down to there and there down to there. Again, this is if you want it to fold flat. If not, you can just fast forward. You don't need to watch this piece. So I'm just gonna go over mine again, just so that they're nice and burnished, um, nice and scored. We'll burnish it in a minute. Like so, I'll just bring that up. You can see there where I've just scored. So it's from the bottom of that two inch score line down to the corners there okay then when you've done that we can burnish all of our score lines get rid of that out of the way put that back like so and just do that bottom one for the minute then I'm just going to grab some scissors and the bottom part okay so this is all facing this is the side this is your base so this bottom piece here you just want to cut up the score lines so, like that, and then just cut those pieces completely out. And to make sure that nothing overhangs, so we don't get anything sticking out the bottom of our um, gift bag, I'm just going to take off some chunks there from both the sides. That will just eliminate that from happening. And then also, I'm going to take a little bit off the bottom there. And then again, from the tops. By doing all of that, it just stops anything overhanging. Okay, then with this middle score line, just push it down like so, and all the way up to there. And it will, these will all kind of come together as well. You can just kind of pinch them like that, okay? So that's now what you should have. And you want to repeat that so you have two okay so that's my two side panels with your lid just to burnish that one inch score line and then just with my corner punch i've just cornered off my edges there but that's completely optional okay so now we can start putting it all together so grab one of your pieces here if you've got different pieces um you know make sure you've got this is going to be my back and then just burnish that one as well and that will be my front okay so it's a you know it's a deconstructed gift bag so we're doing every single piece so starting with the back first grab one of your side pieces and I'm just going to grab some of my glue here and you want to put it on the top okay make sure you're getting it right up to your edges there and then this score line here has got to line up with the edge here, okay? So again, it's good to use your wet glue here because you've got that little bit of wiggle room. Bring it up and you want to make sure that none of the base is overhanging, okay? So you've got the score lines perfectly 
joined there. Stick that all down. Then move across to the other side to get your other edge, your other side piece, like so. Then with your front, or it could be the back, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna then run, you could use um, double-sided tape if you haven't got enough glue for this area. Um, you just wanna splodge your glue all on that. These are great gift bags for putting like a, a small piece of um, clothing in. It would it would easily fit a lightweight dress, t-shirt, little jersey. So it's good to make these slightly larger ones for those kind of gifts. And then this one, this score line here, I'm lining up with the other side, and it will all sit in nicely. And always lift this up and just make sure. Or it all sets like so. Got this score line here. The base isn't overhanging. So, okay. So that is now what you should have. You got your your both your sides here, um, your front and your back. Sorry, and then your two side pieces here. Then what you want to do? is I'll start with this one here first. Bring it up, fold this piece in, okay? And you're gonna put glue all the way down this tab. Okay, making sure you've got it obviously right up to the edges there. Just going to spread that out with my finger. Like so. And then bring this one up and make sure it gets right to the top first. So you focus on joining the top because all of the rest of it will all then line up and then you can just squash that all down like so. So now I've got a really nice join at the top there and I've got a perfect join all the way along the side. And then I'm gonna go to the other side here and again on the front there and then bring that under go right to the top first make sure that's all lined up and then the rest will just all sit down nicely turn it completely over and then with your ruler you can just go along this and just make sure it's really nicely secured to your paper okay and that is one side done you can see already now we've got a really lovely roomy bag so now you want to repeat that with the same um, process on this side so just put glue along here along here and stick this down okay so now I have this really nice size gift bag now if you want to you could just go and put for example this handle here you could put one on each side and just have a normal gift bag Obviously, we're not doing that today. We want to do something different, so I'm just going to pop that to one side. Now, if you don't have this here, I love this, and I've used this quite a lot, and it's the X-Cut um, Pump Punch, and it just does a single hole punch, um, but it means you can do it over any surface area, and it's just really, really handy. So if you don't have one of these, what you'll want to do now, so what I can do... To decide where's the front and the back. I'm going to do this bit the front because it's got that card that can continu continuously goes around. So all you want to do is just squeeze in the sides, okay, and then the back kind of pinch down, and it would just all fold flat. It's hard to really explain, but you can see what happens there. When it's all folded down, what you will find best to do is because I'm going to use my punch, but if you don't have it, you want to bring in. How far in did I do the um, hole punching here? So it's four inches in, and I believe it was one inch, yeah, because it's a two inch piece here, so it was one inch down. So what you would want to do now is come in at four and one inch down and put a pencil mark, okay? And then with your, um, it's just one of these kind of hole punches, you might not be able to come down a whole inch. Let me just see. Yeah, you probably could, and then just punch through this. And then you would have to then, again, on this piece here, 
not on that piece because that's the back, but on this front piece, come in at four and come down at one and punch again. Or lie it over, do this one first, hole punch this first, then lie it over the top as if it was together like so. Draw a pencil mark through the one that you've already punched on here and then punch them, okay? Now I'm gonna punch the whole thing together when it's all, to, when it's all been stuck together with this because it will punch right the way through everything and it just makes it a bit easier. You don't run the risk of slightly being off with your um, holes that you may have punched. So what we can do now is just on the back of this, I'm just gonna put some more glue, okay? And then just sitting it like so, bring this piece over and the end of the back piece here has got to line up with that inside score line there. So just come and sit the whole thing over. Again, you've got a little bit of wiggle room before it dries. I'm just gonna get rid of some of that glue that's just seeped over the edge. And now that piece will fold over, giving you that effect there. Okay, so now this is when I can just punch through everything. So all I need to do is just with a little pencil mark. Um, so I'm gonna come in. I know I'm roughly about an, uh, an inch down there. So four inches and then it'd be at eight because that's four inches in from this side. So I can see there, I've just got a little pencil mark. I've just done there and there, okay. And then, with this punch, you get three different sizes. I think I've got the medium one in for this one. And you just lie it over and then punch it a few times or pump it a few times and it's just cut right the way through all three of those layers. Okay, so again, this one. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, highly um, recommend this, um, $9.99 and I got it from eBay, but they are available in the range UK and on Amazon and other sellers on eBay as well. So again, I'll share links, I've shared links before, um, so have a look out for that. Okay, so now I can put my ribbon through. I'm gonna do the ribbon before I put the handle on and then you kind of know where you wanna put your handle. So this is quite a thick ribbon, so I'm just going to, twist the ends there and come through the back first and then once I've made my bow look nice I'm just going to seal the ends. So I thought I'd use this quite quite dramatic with the black. I was thinking about bringing out the purple but I think the black against it gives it a really kind of luxurious um, feel against that mustard kind of yellow. I just thought the colours worked really well together. So again, just tie this in a nice bow. Okay, and then I can just tidy up my edges. And then, yeah, I've just got a cheapy lighter here and I'm just gonna carefully just seal off both those sides. Okay, so that's now all prepped. That's not going to fray anymore, but how lovely does that look? So if you want to keep it just like that, you can do. I'm not going to. I'm going to flip it over and then grab my tape, um, <laughs> tape my handle. And you want to come up about an inch and just cover that in glue, okay, like so. And then I go right to the very end of where I put the ribbon in line with the bottom of that one inch piece here just so it's all nice and neat. And that's a good way then for you to know that you're getting both your sides perfectly even, okay? And then with my thumb and my finger on the top, keeping your thumb facing the front the whole way around, you wanna bring your handle around like that. Again, pop your glue about one inch. and then flip it over. And again, just lie that, line the handle up. Just hold that all in place till it dries. And there you have it, a gorgeous gift bag. I absolutely love them. <laughs>
Again, you know what I'm like. I'm so appreciative of paper and print and I just think they look gorgeous. So there's that one, there's that one, and there's that one. So I think I've got a really nice variety, you know, for different personalities, different um, occasions and, uh, and so on. So there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed um, today's tutorial. Please, as always, give me a thumbs up, comment, send me messages. I love it. And I do try to get around to everybody. Um, but I am getting more and more. So I'm, uh, yeah, but I do try and I do read them all as well. So um, yeah, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.